With today's actions, our state government has an opportunity to break down yet another barrier in our elections. I'm expanding the time limit from five to 10 years before a registered voter will become inactive. We're going to restore the right to vote, the, the opportunity to receive ballots in the mail for more than 60,000 registered Oregon voters. On behalf of the Independent Party, I'd like to thank Secretary Richardson for addressing this issue. Uh, it's a critical access issue for voters that primarily affects military uh, voters and college students. Secretary of State Richardson's nonpartisan leadership in extending voting rights to over 60,000 Oregonians. The state's current system of rendering Oregonians inactive and ballotless punishes voters who for one reason or another have decided to opt out of previous elections, sidelining the voices of countless Oregon voters in the process. It's time for us to put this practice to an end. As Oregonians, we pride ourselves in extending the right to vote to as many of our fellow citizens as is possible. And I'm honored to continue that legacy as Oregon's Secretary of State. Today is a historic event because we are expanding the right to vote by one of the largest amounts in Oregon history it has nothing to do with partisan politics and everything to do with restoring or protecting the rights to vote of more than 60,000 registered Oregon voters. <laughs>